Hi everyone again. Um, thought this time we'd do, or I would do, um, these three little sheep. Um, they're rather cute. Uh, easy to do, I would say. They are easy to do, so don't get daunted by them. They look really, really cute. Um, I've just done a brief um, light pencil sketch on my uh, card. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the outlines with a black waterproof pen. This one I'm using here is a Micron. Um, I think it's a size 2. It's fairly fine. Um, if you like a thicker line, then use a, a thicker pen. Um, so I'm gradually going over all of this, and I'm just showing you it here in, in real time of how it goes. But I, as you can see, I've just speeded it up, um, save a bit of time, because it did take a little while for me to do it, and I'm sure you want to get on with the um, painting and the fun bit. The sheep are really, really cute because you can give them their own little personalities and um, you can change their legs how you like. If you just like stick legs, you can put stick legs in. You can change the hat and all sorts. So once you've actually um, done the outlining, you can then take a, a, an eraser and remove any pencil lines that you might have there. Um, I'm using here a Tombow um, sort of pen eraser. Um, the the rubber strip inside um, you can push it through like a propelling pencil and you can actually get refills for them I've, I've had a refill which I bought some time ago and I've put in that and that's fantastic because I do actually use this um, pen eraser quite a lot so that looks as if all the pencils now off and I'm going to go in with the um, colors so my little sheep, I do like them to have a little bit of colour in their face. I don't normally colour the faces, but you could. You could you could paint the faces black if you like and then do their eyes, nose and mouth in white to show that out. Um, but on this occasion, I've done some little pink cheeks. I mean, they are out in the snow after all, so they will be a little bit chilly. And I've just added a little bit of blue to that pink to do the inside of their ears. I've left a small amount of white around the outside, so um, it just gives a little bit of form and shape there. But you can have an awful lot of fun with this um, sort of drawing, you know, as you can with any of the ones that I've actually shown on here in the past. Um, once you get the idea of how to do them, you can really make them your own and um, sort of really play around with the characters and, um, you know, really make it your own. I'm obviously mixing some paint here, so sorry I couldn't get the um, uh, my paint panel on the uh, screen as well. I'll have to perhaps try and do that later for you if that's the sort of thing you like. Um, I've zoomed in so you can actually see it, but I will zoom out a bit later. Right, I've picked a, a colour here which looks like green, and I think this was probably sap green mixed with a little bit of... Um, yellow I think that's new gamboge I've got there um, which is a very nice rich yellow um, so I just added a little bit of yellow to the green to um, sort of warm it up and make it a little bit richer um, I'm using a size I don't know if it's a two or a four there um, the idea generally with brushes if you are ever stuck as to which one to use is the, if you've got a big area to do, then you use a bigger brush. If you've got a small area to do, you use a smaller brush. If you like to paint fairly loose, use a big brush. And if you, when you come to do the details, use a smaller brush. But the best thing is to make sure that whichever brush you're using has got a nice point on it, and then you can, you know, perhaps use that point for details rather than change your brush. Um, I'm just doing the red hat here. And that red I'm using is Scarlet Lake, and it's one of my favourite, favourite reds, um, which I love to use. Um, 
Well, as we're here now, the banner's just popped up. I mean, if you do enjoy my videos and you like what I do, I, I'd love it for you to subscribe to my channel and then you'll be able to see any others that I actually uh, load up in the future. That would be lovely. Um, right, we've got a purple here, which I made with uh, French Arch Marine. And I think that would be Permanent Rose. Um, and it's quite nice because sometimes it slightly splits and you sort of get that little bit of pinky colour shining through. And that's that's really quite nice. Um, so I've done that one. So I've just got the last one to do. Um, if you're painting next to um, an area that is already wet, be very careful. Um, I mean, I've done this for a while, so obviously I can, you know, I'm a little bit careful as to how I do it and know how far I can go. But normally I would suggest letting each area dry before you attempt the next, if it's right next to each other. Um, I mean, if you're going to paint from one side of your page to the other, it doesn't really matter. But when they're right close like this and side by side, I would suggest um, just letting each section dry before you put the next one right up next to it. And then you won't have any bleeding or cross pollution, if you like. Right, the legs, I've just done sort of inverted Vs um, for the legs and I'm using indigo. Um, I don't use black. Um, I find it a bit uh, harsh and colour draining uh, sometimes, so I tend to mix my own darks. But this one is just indigo straight off the pan. I've you know diluted it to the uh, strength that I like on my palette, and um, and that's all that is to that. So there's not really much uh, colour mixing. The little pink um, sheep on the right hand side there, that's permanent rose. Uh, which is a lovely colour, it's one of my favourites. And that's, you know, straight from the pan. Uh, I've put it into my palette to mix it to, with the water to the consistency that I like. And um, and that's uh, how that's come out. I mean, if the colours, when you've done them, aren't as strong as you hoped they would be, because watercolour does dry lightly, more light um, than when you put it down, so you might be a little bit disappointed that it's a bit pale. I would suggest that you let it dry completely, then use the colour again and put another layer on and that will actually darken it up because you've obviously got two layers on. Um, but I've just done the one layer on here because I'm that's you know i happy with that. And tidying up the legs. So that's almost done. I'm just letting it dry. Um, the pen I've got here is a Jelly Roll Gold and it's got sort of like a sparkly effect to it. And I'm just going to sort of go in now with some doodles and embellishments. But you know, oh, the biggest problem I find is knowing what to doodle. <laughs> you know, I've got all these great ideas and think, oh, that'd be really cool looking at it like that. But then I think to myself, now what am I going to put here? And you, here I am, look, I'm fiddling around. I don't know what I'm going to do. It's, it's ridiculous. Just get on with it, Ruth. Just put something down. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, are you the same? You know, do you sort of think, well, got great ideas of plans that you're going to doodle something, and then when you get round to doing it, you don't know what to do? Mm. We're funny, aren't we? And I think what I do is I'll use the same pen... Um, for all the doodles in it. I was deciding there whether to put a star or something on the top of the hat, but I think, I think the hat says it all, to be honest. Right, so I'll now go in with some little designs on, the, um, on their little woolly jumpers, because they've got to have Christmas jumpers on. And you can do anything here. I mean, you could put lines across... Um, you could do snowflakes, you could do little squiggles to make it look like fleece. Um, as it's Christmas here, I've put some little stars on. Um, I think I go and put some hearts on one of them. And um, I think there's some little swirls on the other. I'm not quite sure now. Um, oh yeah, look, there's hearts on this one. 
and then just fill them in and the pen it's quite a subtle gold so as the light catches the card um you know the little um doodles that you've made um sort of catch the light and that's rather nice when i'm doing any of these sort of doodles these random things um I try to make them as random as possible and I also try to put one sort of half of one on an edge so it looks as if it's sort of going round the back or if there's somebody like this green sheep is in front of the pink sheep and the purple sheep I'll try and do half or part of a design so it looks as if you know the they're, they're sort of layered up on each other um, what am I doing here oh little swirls yeah I don't know what they are, whether they're... He's a very curly sheep, I think. <laughs> I hope you can't hear that humming. My laptop has been really playing up the last few days and the fan keeps running. I, I think I'm going to have to do a diagnostic on it. It's making such a noise. There, look, can you see the sparkles now on the... Uh, as the light catches all the gold marks that uh, I've just made? Um... And that's really rather rather sweet. So we're coming to the end and I hope you enjoyed this folks and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.